<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to part three no, no. of our anime, <laughs> of our anime <laughs> casuals, uh, our casual review of Gurren Lagann. Uh, quick reminder that this is going to have heavy spoilers. If you haven't watched the first two, go and watch those uh, first. But before that, if you haven't watched Gurren Lagann, watch that first, and then watch the last two, and then watch this one. Uh, if you're not confused yet, Michael, go ahead and <laughs> let's confuse them even more. <laughs> I'm Michael, and this is John, and that's Luggy, and we're Anime Casuals. Right. And that's the end of the video. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. No, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, my question is, uh, obviously we're, we're not writers, we don't create uh, anything but this, yeah. uh, and some side projects, um, but my question to you, because we always like to kind of think about it, is Gurren Long is one of those kind of, there's controversial moments, not like controversial, like, oh my gosh, we're yeah. on either side, this is like totally yeah. intense, we need to argue about this, but like, there's moments in it that were like, oh really, you're going, you're, that's happening right yeah. now, <laughs> um, uh, kind of like uh, Mobile Suit uh, Blood Orphans, uh, yeah. you should go watch that, uh, because there's many moments in that that's like, oh, is this really happening right now? Yeah. Um, what, if any, would you change about this anime? Are there small things that you wish happened? That didn't. Are there some things that did happen that you're like, come on, like, um, <laughs> and I'll start with mine while you guys can take yeah. a think about it. Is I'm always a fan of like, and you know this is just me. I watch some many dark things and like yeah. they make me sad. But I like to see something happy at least for the characters at the end of it, or at least mm -hmm. have some length of happiness. Yeah. And I'm really glad that they at the end of it, you know, they Simone and Mia, uh, they got. Keep switching to M and N. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> or just flipping back about me and me or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Starfire. <Yes. laughs> um, uh, yeah, we did watch the dub. Um, is I'm glad that they gave him some happiness together. I just wish that could have continued because we did see Simone like much longer after that being yeah. some kind of weird hermit. Yeah, I know, with right? With a gone eye, like <laughs> chilling around, right. and I'm like. Is that is that happiness for him really? Yeah. Like he's lived like what ten years, fifteen years now, just yeah. by himself, doing uh, not with his friends anymore, and like that's what he was so about. Like the entire series was being together. So I wish like maybe he had a kid with Nia or Mia or Leah or whatever, <laughs> um, or like maybe he got to like just maybe him and Yoko. Just get to chill out. Not being together, just like, yeah. you know, you can be around your friends, man. Yeah, you, can be, you can be like the substitute teacher for her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like how oh, Yoko's sick. Let's, get, let's bring in the our savior from the spiral. From the end of spiral. <laughs> and I'm sure that's like, so. there's so many questions about it, like, what's up with his eye? Like, he's yeah. so, he looks pretty, like, sick now. Like, yeah. Um, and what is he doing? Uh, but I, I really wish that he got, you know, just a little bit of happiness, or Yoko did, yeah. or, you know... I guess my biggest one was that just Kita didn't die. Yeah, I know. Right? I wanted Yoko to be happy. Yeah. But, you know, she was happy doing teaching and stuff, but, you know, she didn't get to be with either man that she wanted. Like, yeah. and at some point she was like, oh, Simone. And he's like, nah. I got my, I got a, I got a new bae. Yeah, I don't yeah. <laughs> but, like, all right, that was a hella funny episode. That beach episode was hilarious. I know, right? <laughs> uh, but like, that was like my biggest thing is I just wish there was a little bit more happiness for some of these characters at the end, instead of you know kind of getting job satisfaction. They they got like you know, here's us passing someone down to the next generation. They kind of just passed knowledge all, uh, along instead of you know, mm. you know having kids, which is kind of what a lot of the end series was about kind of yeah. expanding population and you know uh growth. yeah growth is exactly the whole thing but then like the main our main characters didn't have any more growth at the end they got yeah. to educate the next generation or whatever simone was doing and most everybody else was dead so yeah. like, <laughs> and that's the kind of problem sometimes with the brutal anime is like you're ended with like wow that was awesome but i'm kind of left i want just a little a little more from yeah that. yeah yeah, that so, ending definitely raises too many questions, and it just kind of leaves off just kind of like, ha, nothing. I mean, and that's fine. It's actually still a really good ending, but yeah, I, that was probably my only thing. The ending, I wish there had been something more. I don't know. Uh, personally, I wish he had just kind of gone into space and been like a, a space warrior kind of thing in, yeah, in Gurren, yeah. and just kind of became one with the universe along with uh, Nia Mia. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And, uh, I was well, trying to think of other problems, and I don't have any. Like, the anime's too good. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're all really happy with yeah, it, yeah. and the way it ended was awesome. Yeah, and, just like, little things. This, is, this is just our own view of, like, maybe something that could have happened I a little just differently. I that cherry, like, on the Yeah, exactly. Just just that the, little bit Like, more. my ice cream was a little melted by the end. It made me sad. <laughs> it was still really good ice cream. As I shove it in my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like Dole Whip from Disneyland. Oh, you know, yeah. you just want to eat it. Don't you mention the Dole Whip. Don't you do that. But, like, when it's melted, it just kind of becomes pineapple juice. But it's still really good. I know, right? <laughs> um, I I'm trying to think of anything that I, you know, obviously there's a Nia thing where I, I I I really did like I had to rewind it for a second because I was like that didn't just happen like that's one of the first times I've ever had to do that where I didn't believe something that I saw. And I was like, wait, what? I went back because I I I guess I somehow I spaced out for a second. And I was yeah. like, okay, they're getting married, and all of a sudden like she was like disappeared like. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and uh, she's I thought, just in space. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I can't really think about too much besides that. I really do. I don't really mind the ending a uh, little too much, just because. Um, I, just because I feel like to a certain extent. Like, this is me just inserting myself into the story and just making my own backstory, but... <laughs> but uh, lucky. Was, lucky is in the story. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, uh, you know, maybe Simon was kind of afraid of what he might do with all that power that he has. Mm -hmm. Like, he might end up like a Spiral King, which, you know, he has the eyes now, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't... Uh, yeah, I think that's, those are kind of like my only two, my two only things. Uh, I think, like, just one thing to praise the, the anime on, which is... Um, when they got rid of Kamina, it was kind of the perfect time in the anime, like the first quarter of it. Mm. Um, and I, at first, I didn't like that it was so early, <laughs> but then I changed my mind, think, like just watching how much Simon grew after it, because it was kind of like a forced growth. Because you know, of course, he has to go through his sulking phase, which was a couple episodes. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, at, like this is kind of one of those things where at first I was critiquing it, but the afterwards, seeing the result, I was like, you know what? Pretty good move on their part. <laughs> I was actually going to say the same thing. I mean, I wanted to say, like, no, Kamina lives. I like Kamina. I keep him alive. But it, it, it's, it's nice the way they kind of paced it out like that. Like you were saying. Yeah. yeah it's, I'm yeah. just reiterating. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a good pacing. Those are there's some really good... It's kind of like, it wouldn't have been as good if he had died sooner. Or later. later. I mean, it was it was just a good yeah. time. It was a good time. And then, yeah, exactly. It allowed Simone to kind of take that place and be lifted up by Nia and, you know, kind of have this whole world changed and kind of flipped over and be like, hey, yeah. you know, you're now the person everybody's looking up to. You know, yeah, you can much. take that place. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Well, moving along to the next question, I, this is, I, I was trying to think of one last question to kind of ask and I was, one of the biggest, and I had a couple of them that uh, were really, I thought were really profound. But then I wanted to ask this one just because it, it got me really thinking about, because um, when you think about it, every it seems like everybody needs a scapegoat for something. So when we look at what Rocio did to, uh, did to Simone, he made him basically a scapegoat for what was happening to the world because they couldn't really explain it <laughs> whatsoever. You gotta so, have someone to blame. So yeah, you need somebody to blame. Uh, for everybody else, it was this, uh, earlier on in the series, it was a Spiral King, even though they didn't know the whole story. Um, and even then, it was the Anti-Spirals, which, granted, they did do a lot of that stuff, but they did it for a, a reason why, a reason that, you know, you could most likely, they, even the main characters would agree with, that's, hey, that would suck. <laughs> um, which they probably weren't aware of before the anti spirals were when they go we're going over there. Uh we're doing other shit. So um this is kind of my question. Why, why do we always need why do you think people always need a scapegoat? Especially the masses. It's not only it's not always like one person, it's usually like a bunch of people that need a scapegoat yeah. in order to kinda of like uh Yeah, I mean well, well, first off, what do you guys think of uh, like why do you think people need a scapegoat and you know, what do you think do you think scapegoats are important to have in civil unrest or do you think uh, do you think they have their place, or do you think it's just kind of a, some unnecessary thing that humans do? John? I kind of want to lean towards that, uh, that last bit you just said. Yeah. Something that people kind of weirdly need, and I think that's because it's easier to kind of, at least with that first, you know, reaction to something happening, it's like, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's just, it's <laughs> easy to be like, oh my god, what did I do? Yeah. So, I mean, I think, weirdly... Uh, people prefer that. I mean, it'd be nice if people would kind of move past that. And I think 
I mean, if we really want to get anywhere, you know, we want to break the heavens with our drills, you know, we got to... We gotta be able to look inward and kind of say like, okay, you know, we've done some bad things. Yeah. We can move past it. We can be better, but we gotta do that. I got you. What do you think, Michael? Uh, in I'm a, in that situation specifically, like the one in the show, uh, um, the anime I'm serious. I'm yeah. Sorry. I know you guys were really offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> Is they were super offended because they believe that they should have been protected or not have started this beef with, you know, the anti-spirals in yeah. the first place. Yeah. And the biggest problem is that these people didn't know what they were talking about. Yeah. At all. They were misinformed. They didn't, they weren't educated <clears throat> about it. Um, and they were like, well, it's your fault. You gotta do it. It's like, well, you know what? Like, if you don't want to deal with it, you can not be here. Yeah. You were in, in like, uh, I think that was said several times that these people forgot how they got here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, many times we watch a, a video game or an anime or, you know, a show where, you know, Star Wars, where it's like, there's 10 years of space there. Yeah. And it's like, how do people forget about this massive war? It's like, people do. Yeah, like, yeah. That's in human nature to forget about bad things, um, and, you know, unless they're your friends or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's easy to get comfortable. Yeah, keep a grudge yeah, against somebody. Ignore. But, like, yeah, once people get are given what they want, they kind of get in this state of complacency where they're enjoying themselves. They're yeah. having fun and they're... And if that's taken away from them or infringed upon, then there's kind of like a huge reaction against that, and it's somebody's fault. Yeah. And I think you're right. Like they want to play the blame claim, claim, <laughs> blame <laughs> game. But I'm they, offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I'm calling out blame. So <laughs> um, is they don't want to look anywhere and be like, I, you know, I share the blame. Yeah. And nobody, nobody likes blaming themselves or anything. Some people might be okay with it. Or, yeah. You know, be a little bit more easier to do that. But nobody likes. You know, realizing that the fault is them, um, and I, th- you know, I think that's just something people need to recognize more often. It's like, yeah. hey, you know, I share in this responsibility and in the blame, um, instead of just pointing their fingers at somebody. Yes. Unless there's like an obvious answer, like it was definitely that person's fault. Like, <laughs> yeah. if, they, if they're like they, you know, like two two warring forces come together and one person's flipping off the other side, it's like okay, well that guy's fault. <laughs> Started um, this fire, you yeah, gas or, yeah. Or the first person who takes a shot in a war, it's like obviously yeah. it was that person. But everybody still shares in the blame, anyways. You can't just blame that person because who was there? Both yeah. both of the armies were in in there in the first place. You know, they knew about this prophecy. They didn't. They didn't share it, which is probably not a smart idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, like, if they sh- did share, it's like, well, you all took the responsibility to come and share and grow our population. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, you just gotta realize and have a sane head or be educated about something. So, I mean, yeah. I feel like when people understand all the facts about something, instead of being part of the blame game or scapegoating someone, they'd be like, yeah. okay, well, let me share in the ideas here because we need to solve this problem. Instead of just going... Well, you didn't. You did this, and you're calling out war, so it's all your fault. It's like, well, if you had told me why we're doing this, then it would yeah. make a lot more sense. Yeah. Even if I don't like it. <laughs> what about you, Logan? Well, I, it was one of the interesting things, uh, just from like me coming from from kind of a religious background, well, was uh, was uh, <laughs> throwing that out there right in your face, <laughs> right in your face. But uh, <laughs> except Jesus. Okay. Uh, but uh, no, one of the biggest things is this idea of the sins of the father that a lot of people think about. But now, you know, while we were kind of talking, I was thinking, why doesn't anybody remember like the good things about people's fathers? Like they remember everything that they did wrong. Yeah. But they never remember like any thing that like it kind of like this this idea that uh that white people enslaved black people right but nobody actually remembers the good the white people did to help black people get past that like the good white people that actually did help out they just kind of remember it as an accumulative effort like all the white people tried to keep us down even though there's like there were a, there were i would say a pretty good amount of them trying to get them out of there yeah uh, i'm not saying you know that 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 continued into like better living situations but that's kind of a different story but it's a lot like um it's a lot like people uh because i remember when i was in philosophy classes one time we were talking to uh we we're talking about like Hitler and his and his followers, and they, he was asking us which one's more dangerous. And he's and then he, he asked us in this sense, what's more dangerous, the fire or the dry grass that's around it? And we were like, well, and so people were like really back and forth on this, mm-hmm. like what 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 is more dangerous? Well, the fire is the thing that started it, but what carries it? Because without mm-hmm. the dry grass, the fire can't really spread, and the fire would die out by itself anyway. Yeah. Right? So it's like it's kind of this not like kind of like not ending argument, like what's, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? But it, 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 at least, hey, oh, come on. Man. 
but uh, yeah, people are still talking about that shit too. I don't know why. <laughs> um, That's breakfast. I know. Right? Eggs. <laughs> the chicken. No, when the chicken lays the egg. When the egg hatches. <laughs> no, when the yolk hits the pan. Oh damn! Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's always been kind of interesting for me, just because, like, just watching uh, watching this show. Like, the great thing about anime that I really love about it is that it really shows a mirror to us. Like, you know, all these uh, all these shows with like all these kids kind of growing up in war situations. It's kind of like in every generation, we're kind of left with whatever our um, our parents' generation mm-hmm. has kind of left us with. But there's also a lot of good things that our parents' generation left us with that, you know, these people can also think about in terms of what what um, what uh, Simone's generation did for them. But not, not really anybody remembers that. They just kind of remember, oh, yeah, they fought, you know, there, there was this really bad guy. And then they just kind of like, oh, well, you're the bad guy now? Oh, okay, let's flip that around real quick and we'll just... Uh, We'll just take this label of bad guy and put it right on you. Okay, yeah, perfect. Now we got a bad guy. Yeah. Then, so people are kind of quelled by that, and that's the, the that's the big problem I had with Rosio. Even though he's my favorite character, he went through this really uh, big thing of wrong decision making of kind of using a real easy uh, kind of using a real easy scapegoat. And coming back to the religion part, it's a lot like what what Jesus what happened to Jesus. He aligned himself with all these people that he trusted. He knew Judas was going to betray him, but he still let him. He still kind of let him go anyway. But the biggest, uh, just uh, without the religious aspect of that, the moral of that is that we're all human and we're all flawed. Mm-hmm. So even if you align yourself with all these people, they're all going to be flawed. Even if it's the government, like the, the government that they try to start, it's made up of people who are flawed. <laughs> so it, it's it's not like they're gonna everybody's gonna make the best decision all the time. That's why you need, like, this checks and balances, and that's what happened when Rosu kind of took control. He didn't have any more checks and balances, that kind of thing. And so, so yeah, to me, like, this idea of scapegoat was, like, super on my mind the whole time I was kind of watching this anime because it was always, like, people needed a scapegoat because it was like, oh, this person, this person. They just kept on putting out fire in the heavens like, that person. <laughs> and then finally I was like, yeah, maybe we just gotta take care of ourselves and make sure we, <laughs> we go forward and don't fuck this shit up. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that was our videos, guys. Uh, all three of them. Uh, our trilogy is over. <laughs> um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, stay tuned for our next anime. We're not too sure what it'll be, but It'll probably be good. I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> all, all hail the Jimbe. Yeah, all hail the Jimbe. And also, let us know if you eventually want us to go into longer anime. Because usually we've been going into shorter anime. Uh, we might m- maybe try and do a season of mm-hmm. like One Piece or Naruto or compartmentalize. Yeah, kind of compartmentalize like one Fair season, no. seventeen uh, part episode, or or or, or, or an <laughs> arc, but which is usually a season. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let us know, guys, and uh, don't forget, guys, keep it casual. Have a good.